Hello everybody, this is Radhika Tandon and welcome to Trending News with Latesty. Here are the top trending news stories of today. One of YouTube's biggest star, Puri Pai, has announced that he is taking a break from YouTube. In a recent video, he said, I wanted to say it in advance because I made up my mind. I am tired. I'm feeling very tired. I don't know if you can tell. Early this year, I'll be away for a little while. I'll explain that later, but I wanted to give a heads up. He also went on to criticizing YouTube for its new harassment policy. However, this is not the first time he has contemplated a sabbatical in a 10-year-long career on social media. He took a small break in November 2016. Meanwhile, the content creator who recently got married has begun the process of social media absence. He has deleted his Twitter account, which had over 19 million followers. After the NDA government passed the Citizenship Amendment Bill, protests have broken out in different parts of the country against the act. The Delhi has become the eye of the storm as students of Jaima, Milia, JNU and others come out onto the streets against the CAD. However, Delhi police's actions against protesting students has become the point of debate in newsrooms and on social media. Many celebrities and film personalities have come out in support of protesting students. Actors Aishman Khurana, Rajkumar Rao, Parniti Chopra, Tapsi Pannu, Manoj Bajpai and Konkana Sen Sharma, besides filmmakers Anurag Kashyap, Mahesh Bhatt and Sudhir Mishra were among those who took to social media to condemn the police crackdown on students. But hashtag shame on Bollywood is trending on Twitter as people are calling out superstars for staying silent on this issue. The time has come to speak up guys. Yes, no, maybe, tweeted actor Sayani Gupta along with a famous star-studded selfie of film celebrities with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and tagging Ranbir Singh and Karan Johar. Teenage climate activist Greta Thunberg engaged in an unlikely spat with a German train company after she tweeted a photo of herself sitting on the floor of the carriage. Her tweet hinted that the train was overcrowded, which was probably why she was made to sit on the floor. However, it seems that Greta's tweet was not the whole story and there was more to it. The railway company took to Twitter narrating the entire story. The German train company thanked her in supporting them, but in the next tweet, the German train company said that they wished Greta had appreciated their service as she had been upgraded to the first class. Meanwhile, Greta later tweeted that she was not complaining, rather showing how overcrowded trains are a sign that more people travel by rail rather than planes. Miss World 2019 has come to an end with Jamaica's Tony Ann Singh taking home the crown. But another contestant, Miss Nigeria, Nyakachi Douglas, is actually winning hearts all over. Douglas, who was in the top five, could not contain her excitement when her friend Tony Ann Singh was announced the winner of Miss World 2019. She started to jump around with excitement and went on to hug Singh as it was almost as if she had won the title. Douglas's reaction has captured hearts all over the world and her generosity of spirit is garnering her immense praise all over social media. It is so hot in Australia that a man cooked a pork roast in his car. No kidding here. Identified as Stu Pengilly from Perth, he placed a slab of pork in a baking tin on his car seat for around 10 hours. Ben Gilly said he also placed a thermometer to check the temperature throughout the day and saw that it had touched a staggering 81 degrees Celsius inside the car. Stu's post has gone viral with users responding with comments. Australia is seeing an unusually hot summer in 2019 with the scorching heat leading to bushfires across the country. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow.